How's it guys? Welcome back to All Ride. We're coming at you from a chilly morning down here in the Western Cape, but we're on our way out to the Yonkersuk Valley for an exciting day out nonetheless. Now, two weeks ago we touched on the topic of shared trail etiquette. Well, today we're talking all things trail building. Rumor has it, there's some trail building spice going down in the Yonkersuk Valley right now with two of the biggest names in the trail building scene here in South Africa. So, with that in mind, let's go check it out. Man, this valley is beautiful, but it wasn't always like that. A couple years back, a big forest fire swept through, destroyed all the forestry and trashed the trails. And while well, the mountain biking mecca that we've all come to know, enjoy and love was sadly no more. But since then, like the resurrection of the Phoenix from the ashes, two lads and their teams have been putting in consistent work to get this trail network back to its prime, if not better. Those lads are none other than Bennett Nell, hailing from the Western Cape, and Hilton Turvey, hailing from the Karkloof in KwaZulu Natal. Both of them absolute masters of their craft on the trail building scene, but also absolute wizards and shredders on the bike. How about we turn that e-bike mode on? So here we are, contour number three, and uh, the top of the never ending story trail. And if you look closely, you can see a few logs here, which means that something is definitely going down. Let's go see who's up to what. Aha, look what we have here. If you look closely, that is an excavator with a lesser spotted Hilton Turvey in it. Alrighty, so we're on the never ending story trail and we've bumped into the master builder himself, Mr. Hilton Turvey. The man is on a little excavator here, putting in the hard graft, but uh, Hilt, how's it, bro? What's going on? What are you up to out here? How's it, man? Yeah, so, um, a never ending story and basically just rebuilding and rebuffing so the plan is just to to widen it and rebuild all the berms and on this machine so it just allows the process to be a lot a lot quicker and more efficient yeah so the guys coming at the back have got spades and shovels and rakes and they refine what i'm basically loosening and shaping with the machine cool finish it all. So the machine helps speeds things up up front and then uh, you just like shape everything beautifully by hand like the art and the, the sculpting that it is. Yeah. Sounds good man. Alright well, let's, uh, let's let you get back to it and then uh, we'll follow the action. So Hilly and his team are out here on a five week assignment. Basically they're out here to build some new trail, revamp some old ones today. They are on the never ending story revamping this. Just correcting a few safety and erosion issues as well as making sure that the flow is best suited for all the riders that want to come down here. So Hilly, not normally a man found on machines, so awesome to see him in the thick of things there, but also the man is so talented, whether it's machine or by hand, you can bet that this is going to be a masterpiece. So Hedy's made some seriously good progress on the machine, but uh, time to give the machine a rest. And now we've picked up the shovel, joining the rest of the trail builders, and we get to do some sculpting by hand. All right, so what would a day on the trails be? without lending a hand and getting stuck in building with these guys. So hopefully we don't mess everything up, but luckily we do have Mr. Hilton Turvey, the mastermind behind trail building, to guide us and make sure we're building the right flow of this trail. Oh, oh, oh. 
two guys there's two guys that I always work with Carlos and Bongani working hard yeah, you enjoying it though yeah, do you ride bikes yourself and you you come ride these trails as well not these ones okay so down the line though Yes, look at this guy, Mr. Bennett himself. So we've been following Hilly and the team. They've been grafting out here. I've been seeing you scouting things around. So uh, what's going on in the valley at the moment? What are you guys working on? Um, you know, this at the moment is a bit of an upgrade more than, than some maintenance. Some of the uh, remaining story levels that was built in 2012 and then 13. But in general, yeah, this year with the rain, the plan was just to jack things up a bit. Um, we've got a couple of old trails since 2015 after the fires that, that got some attention and back into rideable shape um, and a bit of pressure on a kids kids green route down at the gate. Which... All right folks so now that you've got an idea of what exactly goes into the trail building side of things it's time to uh, take us over to the other side of the riding where we really get to enjoy it. As much fun as trail building is it's always a it's always an absolute pleasure being able to kind of reap the rewards of all that hard work get on the bike and go send it so for now, I'm going to follow in this guy as he shows us uh, how it's done. So we've just hiked back up to the top now and it's time to sample the goods for the very first time. We've got Hilly and Bennett here. The boys have put in hard graft with their team. The stoke is all time. We've got a beautiful day, not a breath of wind. Basically the perfect conditions to try out a new trail. Let's lock and load. Bennett out front, Hilly in the middle. Here we go. So there you have it, two thumbs up from both the, the men responsible for not only this trail but also the Yonkazook Valley. Guys, big ups to both of you. It's been an absolute pleasure to ride new trail with you, a really cool experience for, for us. But also big up from all the riders out there for all the hard work that you guys put in consistently. The stuff you build is absolutely amazing and it's a pleasure to ride bikes with you. So long may it last. Thanks. To you the viewers, guys, trail building is a real thing. Uh, there's a lot that we can all do to get behind them as builders and the trail building initiative here in South Africa So we'll add more information in the description below other than that when you're riding keep the trail builders in mind Appreciate their hard graft and also think long term think about the trails and how we can make sure that they're here for many years to come For now we're signing out until next time guys you <laughs>